Hey y'all, your niche coach, I'm back. I know people always wonder like, what? how does Alicia know so much? How, do, how Why does it seem like she always have the answers? I don't, I don't always have the answers. Um, one of the biggest, one of my biggest flexes, I think, is being a wife. And the reason why I say that is because I damn sure didn't know how to be a wife. I didn't know how to be a wife at all. <laughs> like not even a little bit. I ain't never been one before. You know what I knew? I knew how to be a good person. And I think that is what um, catapulted me into being um, a pretty good wife. I think I'm a pretty good wife. I'd let my husband do the math on how high, but I think I'm a pretty good wife. And I think it, be, I think it comes from being a good person. When you are a good person, you have no choice but to operate in respect, operate in love, operate in appreciation, operate in um, honesty, loyalty. That when if you're a good person, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that you're not shit if you don't operate in those things. What I'm saying is you'll have a hard time being someone's wife, being a great person for someone if you don't operate in those kinds of things because marriage takes so much to kind of keep it going. Maintenance, definitely maintenance. Just like oil change, you get your oil change, you better get your marriage, you know what I'm saying? Check on that also. Um, but I knew that being a good person um, would fill the pot. Treat a person like you want a person to treat you. I treat my husband with love and respect because I always want him to treat me with the same. I make sure that our children love and respect him because I want him to treat them the same. You know what I'm saying? So I make sure there's never any disrespect in any kind of way from our oldest child all the way to our youngest child. If you are talking to us or talking with us or whatever, you will address us in a respectful way. You will treat us in a respectful way. Um, I just, I don't play that because I'm his wife. So I'm always going to look out for him. My main goal is to make sure that he is good. In return, that makes sure I'm good. I make sure the kids is good. Home is good. You know what I'm saying? And that's just kind of how it goes. Um, I can't speak for everybody else's household, but I know that that's what works for me. So I make sure that I'm giving the respect that I also want to receive. And because marriage didn't come with no goddamn handbook, we just kind of have to figure it out as we go. But I think that if you always remain a good person and, and if the goal is always to please that person and make sure that person is OK, then that's exactly what you will get back from that person. At least I have. I can't speak to everybody else, but I, I just feel like if you treat somebody good enough. They'll definitely return the favor. So make sure in your marriages and in your life, you operate in just being a good human being. The rest will take care of itself. Fancy names and all that shit don't mean nothing if the respect isn't there.